Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbite Gaming Experience. Let's go into the second level and see what else awaits us. Like I said at the end, a bunch of new stuff for me. This is like playing a whole new game compared to when I originally played Dead Cells. And then when I, you know, secondly played Dead Cells when I was originally going to do it for the channel. You know, it, it's just, it, it's a new experience all over again. A lot of it stayed the same, but a lot of it is very, very new. So, like this. What the heck is this? Requi a gardener's key required. Never seen this. Never seen this. Can't be open from this side. And that looks like a really cool bow weapon. Uh, another thing I should state, uh, no matter how high of a drop you take, you cannot receive damage from it. No matter what. You only receive damage from enemies or, like, spike walls and whatnot. Alrighty, let's take care of this guy. I know we're going to be running into some new enemies relatively soon. We got ourselves another blueprint there. It's a magnet, it looks like. Okay. Uh, magnetic grenade. So I guess it just kind of sticks to enemies. Ooh, that was actually really good there. Ooh, hello. And a blueprint for a blood sword. Blood sword is a vampiric sword where essentially you get health back when you deal damage to enemies. New enemy here. Ninja style deal. I just took a lot of damage there because I'm... I'm getting a lot of my button controls confused with other games I've been playing, and I completely forgot to dodge roll. As you can see, I already took about a good 100 damage there. You know, these enemies, while they can be uh, easy to predict, if you mispredict or kind of just clown out like I did right there, um, you, you get you get you take a lot of damage for it. All right, so we got another scroll of power here. Let's see. Yeah, so it does lower it. All righty, so let's go ahead and up it for Violet because we want to get the most out of our health. So. This door was sealed 3 minutes and 15 seconds ago. So these are essentially, I guess you can call them speed run doors. If you can get to them in a certain amount of time, they will open. Essentially meaning, it, and what they do from what I've noticed, because I've only gotten through one of them, is that they kind of reward you for going through a level without collecting anything really. So basically it's a way of not punishing you for wanting to just get through a level really fast. You kind of get... Uh, a, a, a certain amount of equipment that you would essentially lose, you know, not be able to get if you basically, you know, ignored it. There, There's a thing that I can do to open that. Um, it's a weird upgrade, but I can't remember what it is, but we don't have it just, we don't have it just yet. So yeah, no, like basically if you much rather, you know, spend time, oh, that's new. Huh. Okay, cool. Um, so if you, if you want to spend... Oh, I can't utilize this either. Man. All right. So basically, if you want to spend time, you know, exploring, cool. And if you don't want to spend time exploring, you would much rather go do other things. You're not punished for it. This is something new. Okay, so Frost Blast. Freeze enemies in front of you. Does not deal damage if the enemy is already frozen. 100% damage on burning targets, which works with the fact that we've already got ourselves something that does fire damage. And then an Ice Grenade explodes, freezing nearby enemies, inflicting 40 damage. Frost related slowdown lasts four times longer. We're gonna... Well, can we take this one? So it's one of those you can only take one. Now, the reason we took the grenade, and from the looks of it, it is affected by red and purple. Okay, interesting. Um, so the reason why I took it is that the frost thing goes under your X and Y. Um, only certain items can go in the left trigger and right trigger, and only certain items can go in the X and Y trigger. From what I remember, you cannot, uh, switch them with one another. And so because of that, the, the freeze one, I remember being on the X and Y, and I'd much rather keep the ones that I currently have and, you know, the, ha have a third grenade, basically. So if I remember right, this is our first mini boss that we're going to go against. That's an elite. So elites are just stronger variants of enemies you've already gone against. But one thing about them is that they spawn smaller enemies. And one thing that I should talk about... Okay, so notice I'm taking damage. There's that yellow meter there. Okay, hang on. Okay, got him. Whoo! Whoo! I almost died there. Let's heal up. So, oh. So there, there's a yellow meter there. Um, If you have... And let's pick up the unknown artifact. That we can now utilize. And I believe it tells us we can do it with. Yeah. Uh, permanently gives you the ability to grow climbable vines. Which, with these guys, we took before we couldn't do anything. It now spawns those. And again, permanently. So even if I die, I still get to keep them. Um, so one thing I was trying to say there. So, whenever I took damage, you saw 
that little bar of yellow. Kind of like in Bloodborne, when you take damage, um, you're given a certain amount of time to get a certain amount of health back by hitting enemies. So the thing about elites is that, I mean, they're, they're obviously, as you can tell, tougher. I also screwed up that fight really badly, but, you know, either way, it was a good means of showing that. Elites are a little bit tougher, but they also small, like, little creatures that aren't that tough. And when you, basically, whenever you take damage, you can kill the little creatures in generally about one to two hits. I usually have a better melee weapon than I do right now, so that kind of made it a little bit harder. But once you, every time you hit them, you gain a little bit of health back. So don't be afraid of just like spamming your attack abilities as much as you can, because if you get hit and you run away and that yellow bar goes down, that's health that you're never going to get back that, you know, you're obviously going to want to get back. But that was just a mini boss. I wasn't even a main boss, you know. Um, and elites appear every now and then. It'll literally show elite above their head, so you know what it is that you're up against. And again, I had to use a one health flask, so I got to make sure that I don't I don't really chimp out too hard here and cause myself a premature death and have to utilize that one mutation a little too early. You can use the right analog stick to get an idea of what's ahead of you so you can plan for certain jumps. I haven't seen a lot of areas that really utilize these spikes minus this area. There's one that does utilize bottomless pits, but the bottomless pits do not kill you. It just does a lot of damage and then sends you back to essentially where you fell off. That's really about it. So don't think that a bottomless pit is going to completely bring an end to you. That looked like he was protected by one of those totem shields. Okay, this... I hate... I hate the bats in this. Alright, so there's a totem shield. You want to take care of that because it protects a bunch of the other guys with a shield where you cannot do damage to them. Now, generally, enemies do give you a tell if they're going to attack. Um, those bat things will essentially make a sound when they're looking to attack you. They can go down relatively easily, easily though. Yeah, mincing words here. You can see I'm running really fast, you know, that's just because I've killed a lot of enemies. So it's really good for just keeping keeping the, the, the pace of the game going as much as it possibly can, which I really enjoy. Okay, gotta, gotta, gotta focus a bit. Okay, we're good, we're good. Definitely gotta utilize the freeze grenade, because again, even the freeze grenade does damage, but at the same time, it also slows them down relatively fast. Now, the ninjas will follow you. A bunch of these other enemies will kind of just stick around wherever they're at. Uh, the ninjas, they don't care. They, they will teleport to wherever you're at to be able to just try and get as much damage out of you as they can. Alrighty, so yeah, so what it used to be with the skill upgrades, again, is that, you know, being able to take tactics meant that your cooldown on your, you know, right and left trigger abilities was a lot smaller. Now that's, I guess, a mutation that I gotta really look into utilizing, because it's really important to have those. There, there, there are a lot of cases... Um, the, the boon of your abilities. They're, they're the best you can get. Um, one of them especially is turret. Is a turret that just keeps shooting for you. One of my favorites to utilize. So definitely got to look to get that mutation sometimes in the future because 18 seconds on the ice grenade is a lot of time that I'm going to be losing. Now I don't think... I, I want to say the dodge gives you a little bit of invincibility frames, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, I, I don't think you can utilize it to dodge bombs all that effectively. I usually try to, but in a lot of cases, I'm already like out of harm's way of the bomb, so I don't really have to worry about it. I still haven't gotten an upgraded melee weapon, and there really hasn't been a merchant, which kind of sucks. I'm sitting at about 4,000 gold, and I'd really like to get a melee weapon. So let's see if there's any down here. I haven't run to a chest in a while. I mean, dealing with a lot of enemies, getting a lot of cells, way more important. And okay, I've already had to utilize that. That's that's really sad. I got pinned into a wall there and had to deal with a flying enemy and two other enemies that just kind of rush at me. And I don't have a good melee weapon yet, so not good. All right, so here's, here's an interesting skill where you can only pick one out of the two. Give me survival. I need health because um, I've already had to use my you know, revival, heart, whatever it is, and I'm still not in a great space. Good! Here we are. Alright, just give me the hammer. Sun's victims that have 75% or more health. A swarm of bike, bike crawlers! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Alright, this is what we want. So, the bike crawlers, and this one... Oh, wow! So this one is, like, it look, I'm assuming... 80% affected by red? I mean, 20% affected by red and 8% affected by green. Interesting. So now, what this 
this weapon is really slow. Not one of my favorites. I more prefer fast weapons. But it does stun enemies. And when you kill them, it spawns those critters I was talking about that'll then fight for you for a certain amount of time. Definitely something I'm going to need when it comes to big swarm of enemies to go against. And it looks like there's a swarm I'm at to go against relatively sooner than later, unfortunately. But also, unfortunately, is the fact that we've got ourselves a... Oh, that... Oh, I don't think I can get to it. Okay, okay, okay. I can deal with the bomb, dude. That's no problem. But those are little critters they will fight for you, but only on the level that you're currently at. Okay, I gotta run. I don't think I can get to that totem, so we're just gonna... We're gonna get out of here. I'm really in a bad spot. I'd hope not to die this soon, but we'll see. It's not looking... Not looking too hot. Especially not getting my first actual melee weapon till now does not help with it. Oh, it's also really hard because of the fact that Okay, the the hammer weapon is not good with dealing with enemies that are in the air. But again, it does do a lot of damage, which is very important. In fact, have you guys just attack those for me? Thank you. As best they can. Again, they also cannot deal with enemies that are in the air. Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost died there. Um, um, um. Okay, get him when he's down there. I'm literally one hit. I'm one hit away. So I'm one really unfortunate event. Okay. I, I think I can deal with this one by just grenading them. Ooh, nice, nice. And that looks like I can get another health upgrade. Ooh, this is getting scary. Alrighty, 31. Give me 31% more health. That's not going to help a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Get the stun on him. Whoa! That stun didn't last as long as I was hoping, hoping it to. Well... That was really unlucky. Uh, I didn't get a really good weapon until the when I was already down to like no health left over. Alrighty, yes, I'm back. Um, essentially, this guy says that you know everything's different. It's a lot like you know the Castlevania castle. It's like oh, it's alive, you know. So as you can see, we lost everything back to the garbage sword, which I already had to deal with for all of last part and already most of this part. So, hopefully, we'll get a little bit luckier and get a better melee weapon much sooner this time. Because, uh, for, for me, like, I, I need a really good, preferably fast melee weapon to be able to do the amount of what I want to do when it comes to this game. Alrighty, so... But now that we also have that vine upgrade, if there's any vines in the first area this time, we can actually utilize them, explore a little bit more, and once again, hopefully get a miles better melee weapon than just the rusty sword that we already had to deal with. Yeah, not, not one of my favorites. I usually prefer the speed sword. Sometimes the blood sword's also really good. Um... Uh, daggers are also one of my favorites because of their ability to crit hit is really good. Um, let's actually, since, you know, we might, I don't know how long we're going to be stuck with the sword. I should look to upgrade my brutality as much as I can. Uh, I don't think I would have wanted to get any of those weapons anyways. Um, one thing I should say when using the recycling, it obviously doesn't work with the merchant guy here. I think you can attack the merchant. I don't remember, but if you do, I think it stops the merchant from appearing later on. But I could be 100% wrong, and I don't really feel like testing it out right now. Daggers, yes. Oh, swap it with the rusty sword. A lot faster, and the third hit, no, the second hit, it looks like, um, is a guaranteed critical hit, I believe. No, it was the third hit. One, two, three. The third hit is always guaranteed critical, if I remember correctly. Does it say that? Inflicts critical blow on the third consecutive hit. Nothing else special about them, but they're just, they're, it's much better than the Rusty Sword. They're a little bit faster, and again, getting the guaranteed critical hit is way better than the Rusty Sword. So I'm glad that these actually did show up. Because even if I don't get a much better weapon later on, I'd much rather deal with crap daggers and a crap rusty sword. Simple as that. More of a personal preference thing for me. We can leave immediately, but I want to do more exploring first. But can I? Was I able to go up here? Looks like it. So let's actually do some more exploring first. Oh, good, because there's a chest. What is this? Sinu Slicer. 
Fire spinning blades at nearby enemies, inflicting 20 damage per second. Damage per second, yeah. Plus 6 damage per second of bleeding damage upon death victims. Freeze nearby enemies. Is this a turret? It is! Alright, so this is one of the turrets. It's a different looking turret than what I'm used to. And it's got a relatively low cooldown. So you throw it, and it just deals with enemies uh, for you. Let's go ahead and test that with this poor sap here. So you throw it, and it attacks for you. It's actually really fast. It can be, you know, has its own little health bar. And whenever you utilize another one, it gets rid of the first one. But as you saw, it also did explosive freezing damage whenever it took out an enemy. That's really good for us. You know, utilize that. And let's actually give it some more damage as well. That's awesome. But we are going to call it a part there, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And hopefully next time we'll get a little bit further than we did the previous run. Who knows? But enjoy your evening. Catch you guys in the next one.